the historical Benin Kingdom in Nigeria. The Benin Kingdom, located in what is now southern Nigeria, is one of Africa's oldest and most highly developed states. With its origins tracing back to the 11th century, the kingdom became renowned for its advanced political structure, impressive artistry, and extensive trade networks, early history and foundation. The origins of the Benin Kingdom are often traced to the 11th century with the rise of the Edo people, who established their first settlement at Yubanu. The kingdom's foundational period is closely tied to the figure of Uika'i, who is traditionally considered the first Orba king of Benin. Uika'i is believed to have been a descendant of Oranmian, a prince from the neighboring Ife kingdom, who was invited to rule over Benin due to his royal lineage and leadership qualities. Political structure. The Benin kingdom's political structure was highly centralized and sophisticated for its time. At the top was the Orba, who wielded considerable power and was regarded as both a political and spiritual leader. Below the Orba, a complex system of chiefs and administrative officials managed the kingdom's various affairs. This structure allowed the kingdom to maintain internal stability and efficiently manage resources and trade. The system of governance included various ranks of nobility, with the Uzama chiefs playing a significant role the selection of a new orba upon the death of the reigning monarch. The political organization was not just limited to the royal court. It extended to the towns and villages within the kingdom, each governed by local chiefs who reported to the central authority. Economic prosperity and trade. The Benin kingdom thrived economically due to its strategic position and adeptness in trade. It became a major center for commerce, dealing in goods such as ivory, pepper, and palm oil. The kingdom's craftsmen were highly skilled, particularly in bronze and brass casting, producing intricately designed artifacts that were traded far and wide. Benin's trade extended to Europe, especially with the arrival of the Portuguese in the late 15th century. This contact with Europeans opened new avenues for trade, bringing firearms and other goods into the kingdom while exporting Benin's artwork and agricultural products. The Orba of Benin adeptly managed these relationships, maintaining the kingdom's economic dominance in the region. Art and culture. The Benin kingdom is perhaps best known for its remarkable artistic achievements. Benin art, particularly its bronze and brass sculptures, is celebrated for its technical sophistication and aesthetic beauty. These artworks often depicted the Orba, his court, and various deities, serving both as historical records and as objects of worship. The famous Benin bronzes, which include plaques, statues, and commemorative heads, were created using the lost wax casting technique. This method allowed for intricate details and has left a lasting legacy that continues to be studied and admired today. These artworks were primarily produced for the royal palace and played a significant role in the kingdom's rituals and ceremonies. Military prowess and expansion. Militarily, the Benin kingdom was powerful and expansive. The kingdom's army was well organized and equipped, enabling it to defend its territory effectively and expand its influence over neighboring regions. During the reign of Orba Uwe the Great in the 15th century, Benin underwent significant territorial expansion. Uwe is credited with strengthening the kingdom's military, fortifying the city of Benin with impressive walls and initiating various infrastructural projects. The kingdom's military conquests and strategic alliances helped it to dominate trade routes and secure tributes from neighboring states, further enhancing its wealth and influence. Decline and British conquest. Despite its prosperity, the Benin kingdom faced challenges that led to its decline. Internal strife, succession disputes, and increasing pressure from European powers weakened the kingdom over time. The pivotal moment came in 1897 when British forces, seeking to expand their colonial influence, launched a punitive expedition against Benin. The British forces, equipped with superior weaponry, captured 
and burned Benin City, looted its treasures, and exiled all but Oven Ramwan. This marked the end of the kingdom's sovereignty and its incorporation into British colonial Nigeria. Many of the looted artifacts, including the renowned Benin bronzes, were taken to Europe, where they remain in museums and private collections to this day. Legacy and cultural significance The legacy of the Benin kingdom endures in modern Nigeria and beyond. The cultural heritage, traditions, and artistic achievements of Benin continue to be celebrated and studied. The descendants of the Benin royalty still hold cultural and traditional significance, with the Orba of Benin remaining a respected figure. Efforts to repatriate the looted Benin bronzes have gained momentum in recent years, highlighting the kingdom's lasting impact on global cultural history. The historical significance of Benin provides a rich narrative of African ingenuity, resilience, and artistry, offering profound insights into the continent's pre-colonial past. In conclusion, the Benin Kingdom stands as a testament to the rich history and cultural achievements of West Africa. Its advanced political system, economic prowess, military strength, and artistic brilliance mark it as one of the great civilizations of the African continent. One, if you love historical video, reviews, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest videos. Your support helps us create more awesome content just for you.